Hi, Regal fans. I'm Jay Roach, director of the movie Trumbo. Check out this behind-the-scenes featurette and see the film at a Regal cinema near you this November. Who the hell is Dalton Trumbo? The highest paid writer in Hollywood. My husband. A registered communist. Dangerous radical. Dad. Rebel genius. Are you not? Or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Many questions can be answered yes or no only by a moron or a slave. <laughs> the real problem all over the world is this immoral assertion of power over the most private thoughts of men. Delvin Trumbo wrote the book Johnny Got His Gun and the screenplays for Roman Holiday and Spartacus. Dalton Trumbo was a superstar writer. He was very funny, kind of cantankerous. It's never over with you people. Strike after strike, strike after strike. Whatever it takes to seek justice. He was a communist when to be a communist meant you fought for the rights of working people. It had nothing to do with Russia. Okay. Decent Americans feel that Hollywood is just a haven for overpaid traders. Hedda Hopper was queen of Hollywood gossip columnists. If she wanted to bring someone down, she could. She had 35 million readers. Extraordinarily anti-communist. Hedda Hopper and others were determined to convince America that these writers were actually traitors. Subpoenas have been issued to those we believe have knowledge of the ongoing communist threat in Hollywood. Congress has no right to investigate what we think or how we make movies. Rolling. Are you now, or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Trump will realize the question itself was anti-American. Are you in contempt of Congress? Well, I have total contempt of this Congress. He was blacklisted in 1947. No studio will ever employ a member of the Communist Party. He lost his livelihood. Trump is not allowed to write under his own name. Nobody in their right mind will hire him, except the King brothers who make schlock. You're a great writer. I don't see it. I'll write you a movie. And you don't want your name on it? No, you don't want my name on it. Especially if you're still up to stuff, are you? Perpetually. And that was the start. Dalton Trumbo realized he can give assignments to all his friends. They need scripts like an army needs toilet paper. Murder at the circus. It needs work. I knew the clown did it. It's always the clown. Trumbo realized the whole issue will collapse because of the sheer irony that writers who are not allowed to write are writing. Make a rush. But it took its toll and his family paid a price. He can't take five minutes? Nope. Their relationship was super complicated. They fought a lot, for sure, and she would call him out on things. Go away. When you hear me working, you don't knock. So the house is on fire, you don't want to know? I work in a bathtub, surrounded by water. This isn't just happening to you. We all hurt. Leo Trumbo had a very strong sense of survival that served her well when she needed to be strong for her husband and her children. The blacklist is alive and well, and so is the black market. If we get one big movie, we can get all the big movies. Phone for you. Oh, who is it? There's a good story in there. And what's the title? Spartacus. Miss Hopper! This is an amazing story of redemption and righteousness in the end winning out. Fire Dalton Trumbo. I don't think you and me are going to be pals. Trumbo is an important, compelling story told with warmth and wit and humor. We now work at midnight in thick fog. Not literally. This is what attracted me and Diane Lane, Elle Fanning, Helen Mirren, John Goodman, Michael Stuhlbarg, and Louis C.K. The film is about the freedom to believe what you believe and not be persecuted for it. I don't think there's anything more important than freedom of speech. I think everything flows from that.